Welcome back to Rifle in the 2.0. I got a weird one for you guys today. It has its roots back in 1899. I have the Firearms International Bronco Skeleton Rifle. Check this thing out. So the Firearms International Bronco Skeleton Rifle it was produced by the Firearms International Company starting in 1967 going into 1970 when it was taken over by the Abu Garcia Firearms Company and then they ceased production in 1978. This has its roots back to the old Hamilton number no. 7, the old bicycle rifles. That harkens back to the old Quackenbush safety rifle that I have. But the Quackenbush also made these wire frame, very simple rifles that were called bicycle rifles, which a boy could at the time back when things were still free and reasonable, where you could stick a rifle in your bicycle and go wherever you were going to do what boys do and shoot at pop cans and squirrels and whatnot. Anyway, I digress. This is a neat little rifle, very skeletonized. There's not much to it, about as simple as it gets. Uh, the mechanics, even though they look complicated, they're really, really not. The sights are rudimentary and it's actually fairly accurate. So we're gonna give it a couple test shots about 30 yards today, just to have a quick look at it. And then, uh, yeah, we'll give you a better idea of what we're dealing with. So you'll see this has got a very, very simple wire stock, wire frame. It only goes down to a barrel, and that's about it, really. The sights are rudimentary. There's not much to them, just a eh, very basic adjustable by screw rear sight, and then uh, this fat fixed front sight on there. Now, when it comes to loading and unloading this thing, it's a peculiar thing. You're seeing two triggers here. No, it's not similar to like you would have on your Hawken rifle because that's the actual boom switch. This actually cocks it and opens the action right there and it just twists out, load it up. Now you get to hold this, pops back into place and it's cocked and ready to go. Now when you go to unload it, same thing. And then you see this punch rod here, kicks the cartridge out. And of course this wouldn't be complete without a crossbar safety. One last thing that's very neat to note before we get shooting, this came in four different varieties. So you would get these in 22 long rifle, which is what I got here. They had 22 WMR, the 22 Magnums, and then they had the double stack 410, 22, and then they had the regular 410 versions of this. It's insane, can you imagine that with this goofy little thing? But today we have the 22 long rifle, that's where we're gonna be shooting. And today we are going to be using the 22 Long Rifle Wildcat 22s. These have a very basic 1255 feet per second, 40 grain projectile. Usually I like my CCIs better and they're a little bit slower, but this is what I had on hand. This is what we're using. All right, so let's get to shooting. Here at 30 yards, I got a couple swingers set up down range and we're going to take a couple cracks at this thing. So <laughs> I'm sure you guys are just as excited as I am. Here we go. I'm going to go for that gopher on the far left. Huh, I almost screwed myself. So one thing you gotta remember is this is actually your hammer going forward. So you can't go on like a normal close setup because it'll interrupt the strike. You'll get a light strike. So you actually have to go further out. <laughs> that did it. Let's go for something a little bit smaller. How about that bobcat up there? It's so weird getting used to this. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, that got him. <laughs> Nobody likes coyotes. <laughs> I'm digging it. <laughs> that bear. Oh, I missed him. He's a little fella. Bet you after I loop this thing up real good, It'll move pretty easy. Oh, he wants to turn on me. There he goes. <laughs> Before you guys start criticizing me about iPro, it's a long rifle, it's a nice closed action. I'm not gonna have any issues. So this thing is just so easy to shoot. My cameraman, <laughs> he's been losing his mind over here wanting to shoot this thing. So here you go, buddy. Alrighty. He's gonna take out that shaving cream. And take it. <laughs> That's good shooting there, buddy. <laughs> oh, me. 
Oh my. <laughs> That's a good center shot too. You can see where it's coming out. Right there. Yeah, let's see. I wonder if it ripped through the side maybe. Whatever. Ground hogs very dignified now. All right, guys. Well, for being a pretty short video, uh, that was a lot of fun. I mean, at 30 yards, standing and never messing with this rifle before ever, it does the job. It's it's a lot of fun. I can see why these things were uh, were pretty popular. Oh, I don't know, 50, 60 years ago, but whatever. You know, these things used to only cost like 10 bucks when they first came into production, and then uh, obviously after the National Firearms Act came into lovely NFA. Uh, they had to start serializing everything, so it raised the price to an astronomical $20, but whatever. In today's value, uh, it might be the difference between 100 200 bucks. I don't know. Bidenomics. But anyway, <laughs> hope you guys had fun. We did too. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. We'll catch you on the next one.